What's up, Subbots? I'm back, and I'm here to talk about the Bloxy Awards. So at the time of me recording this, uh, they're happening in about two days, and I hope to get this out like shortly after the awards are over with, but knowing me, I'm just gonna sit on this footage for uh, ages till I finally get around to putting it together. Just the sad truth, guys. Anyways, this video is gonna be quite different. Um, you know, instead of just your ordinary gameplay stuff, I want to talk about, like, more about just random fun facts and background information and history about the Bloxy Awards, because I... I find it to be kind of interesting. So we're going to talk about some history behind the Bloxies and Roblox events in general, or Roblox conventions, I should say. But I want to briefly touch on this year's Bloxies first, what's happened so far and what's going to happen. So this year's Bloxies are um, very similar to the 4th and 5th annual Bloxy Awards. You're able to buy seats at the theater and make a brief appearance on the live stream. By the way, uh, this this year the seat buying process was quite a mess. Like, my, my friend uh, spent... 2,000 Robux on a 1,000 Robux seat. He had to buy it twice because the first time he bought it, someone else got it before him, but his purchase still went through. Luckily, he got compensated by uh, getting his seat moved to some more expensive area, which is great. He actually got a deal. The problem is I have no clue where, where he was in the uh, live stream because I don't know where they moved him, but they compensated him. And this year, they've also added some stuff. For example, they uh, decided to have an entire event dedicated to the block. Um, there's five different hats you can get. One is from uh, completing a scavenger hunt. Two are for winning these uh, arcade mini games that they they got in the uh, in the lobby. There's a red carpet cape that you get by getting gnomed. I'm not kidding. And finally, there's the tuxedo cat you can get by meeting a dev in game. Also, at the theater, you could purchase, like, sign messages for 1,000 Robux, buy a sign, and write something on it, and I assume your character will hold it up during the, uh, the Bloxy's live stream. And you could buy glow sticks that you can probably wave around during the live stream and stuff. So yeah, in short, I just destroyed that fence. But yeah, in short, this year had, uh, had a lot more to it than the previous Bloxy Awards, and I'm actually quite excited this year, obviously because I'm nominated, and also because I know a few of the other other people who got nominated and not only that I have uh, two ads at the red carpet and I'm hoping that they'll acknowledge at least one of them during the red carpet stream which is less than 24 hours away at the time of recording this in a moment I'm gonna talk about the history of the Bloxies where it all started and some fun facts we're gonna react to some videos and then after that we're gonna play the Bloxies event and then we're gonna react to the red carpet and finally the Bloxy Awards and at the end I'll do a little summary alongside my my thoughts on uh, how everything went. Hey guys, this is me from the future, and I did a last minute change. So instead of um, instead of just making this one video, I'm going to split it into two parts. And the reason for that is the combined footage is an hour and eight minutes long. And I don't think many people are going to watch that the whole way through. But this video is 37 minutes long and tomorrow's video will be 31 minutes long. So two back-to-back -back videos that are over 30 minutes long. That should make it easier for viewers to digest. So at 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, I will upload part two. Also, this video is going to end abruptly. Uh, I'm, I'm At the end, I say I'm going to cut to the gameplay, except it cuts to the outro. So... Uh, just a warning. So let's begin with the history of the Bloxy Awards. Where did it all begin? This is something that I have seen absolutely zero other YouTubers talk about, so I want to talk about it. So the Bloxy started as a way to um, to recognize and like award and celebrate Roblox filmmakers, which is just a slightly cooler way of saying Roblox YouTubers. Now, this isn't the first time they've done something like this before. They've had numerous video contests before the Bloxies existed, such as the humorous video contest, the funny movie contest, the Roblox Rocks music video contest, the Roblox tutorial video contest, the prank a pop star contest, and the Roblox Pwnsville video contest. It's possible I miss one or two contests, but you get the gist of it. Before we get to watching and reacting to the Bloxies, we have to go all the way back to uh, Roblox Rally 2011. And if you don't know what that is, it was the first ever Roblox convention. Basically, it was just about discussing all things Roblox, new updates, new features, how the platform as a whole is growing, and where it stands compared to other games and game platforms, and asking Roblox staff questions. They had a lot of Q&As. So I just want to quickly take a look at a video that an audience member took of Roblox Rally just so you get an idea of what it was. Let's just jump into it. 
Oh my god, it's the old TV ad they made. This is great. If you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out. Millions of players. This is definitely how Roblox looked in 2011. It's free! It's free, guys! It's free! It's free. It is free. Thank you for clarifying, guy. I don't know who spoke just then, but what are these statues on the side? This kind of makes this whole presentation have a more of a creepy cult feel to it. Maybe it's just something completely innocent, but the video quality is like, oh, well, 480p is the highest I can go. We'll just assume these are creepy statue things. Welcome to Hi. Yeah! I know that guy. One of my many alts that I own. Yeah, Builder Man! That, like, when he said, it's Builder Man, it kind of reminds me of, like, a WWE entrance type thing. But, oh, what? He's giving high fives to the audience! Oh my god. David, the high five man over here. A real champ. Actually, I want to watch this for a bit. What, what do they talk about? Build anything with four exclamation marks. I'm gonna give you a little background on Roblox, kind of how we got our start, and just a little touch base on the last year. So, All right. the Roblox community could be the most creative, inventive, passionate online community anywhere online. Say that again slowly. Hmm, 1.8 million. So these were the numbers back then. Um, so here they're comparing it. It looks like this is a photo of uh, President Obama's inauguration, I think. Yeah, he just... So for the rest of this, I'm guessing he just talks about what I mentioned earlier. Some statistics. Again, I mentioned this earlier, how it stacks up to uh, other games and game platforms. So yeah, that's what uh, Roblox Rally looked like. Next, we're going to move on to their next convention, which was called Roblox Games Conference. Also, I'm going to include links to all of these uh, videos that I'm reacting to in the description. If you guys want to check them out for yourselves, watch them the whole way through, because I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm just going to watch little bits of it. Four, three, two, one. Yeah! Let's go. It's Eric. Who just said Happy New Year? Anyways, yes, it's uh, Eric Castle. Rest in peace, man. Love the camera quality. Yeah! Welcome to the second annual Roblox Game Conference. My name is Eric Castle. I am the co-founder of Roblox. Some of you might know me better by my very creative username, which is Eric.Castle. Yeah! <laughs> we have a lot of great events and activities for you here. Um, I think you're going to have a great time. But also, we're really interested in meeting you and talking with you. We, uh, so any person you see with a red and black shirt, please come up, introduce yourself, tell us what you like about Roblox, tell us what you think we could improve. We really want to listen and learn. So that's very important to us, okay? So he talks about uh, how they value community feedback. I think that's great. So as you can see, this convention is pretty much the same idea as Roblox Rally. They're going to talk about features and whatnot. Our first speaker is going to talk about Roblox and its place in the world of gaming and what sort of sets us apart yeah. from other games out there. So I think it's going to be a great talk. Like I mentioned. And um, it is really my great pleasure to be able to introduce him. He is the CEO and inventor of Roblox. He's not Here we only go. the person who started the company, but he's also an extraordinary programmer. He wrote the first lines of code that would eventually become Roblox as we know it today. So please help me welcome onto the stage Roblox developer number one, sometimes known as Builder Man, David Bazuki. Hey, he's back. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna? Is, wait, is he giving out high fives again? He better. Oh, oh, I think he is. I'm actually right. Yes, the high five man champ back at it again. Welcome everybody. I feel very welcomed. 
This is our second Roblox. It's a lot of people there. They were growing. Hold on, pause this for a second. There. Uh, so as you might know, Roblox is growing every year, and it's it's actually quite noticeable when you look back at these old videos. Like they these days. Yeah, here it says they're 2.8 million. That's up 1 million from uh, the previous year. So uh, they have the uh, inauguration photo again. 2.8 million people playing every month is basically the population of Kansas playing on Roblox every month. <laughs> so it's an enormous number. And now they're hitting numbers like 40 million a month or something. I don't know how accurate that is, but it's in the tens of millions. So yeah, that's uh, RGC 2012. One thing that I want to add about RGC that's relevant to what we're going to talk about later in this video the Bloxies is the fact that they had a Hall of Fame segment where they give out awards to uh, people in uh, specific categories, which I, I think was like, like, I guess you could say the prototype version of the Bloxies, especially considering they gave out an award for best video. So I got the video right here, Roblox Game Conference 2012 Hall of Fame winners. This video is very obscure. No, no one's commented on it in six years. I don't know if it's because they like soft block all the comments or if it's just that obscure, but if if you guys go to this video after I commented awesome sauce. Oh heck yeah, copyrighted music. I'm gonna have to mute this in post and replace it with like something else. Did they? They seriously edited this on a Windows Movie Maker. But I mean, the idea is the same. I don't know what this game is. Best FPS, Paintball, Base Wars, and uh, Call of Robloxia. I think it was Base Wars that went, oh no, it's Call of Robloxia. I don't know if you voted on the Hall of Fame. I don't remember enough. I don't think you voted for uh, the Hall of Fame awards. I might be mistaken though. So unlike uh, what they do these days, they actually like showed off the winners. Like for videos, they'll play the video. For games, they'll show off the game. This is just a different way of saying best showcase. This music is a bop. Too bad it's copyrighted. I'm probably gonna replace it with a nursery rhyme or something stupid. So builds like these were very impressive back then. They, and they, they still are quite impressive now, but if you look at what people are making now, holy. So yeah, here, best video, the Elder Trolls, Roblox, Row Wars trailer, the beauty of Roblox. And the winner is the Elder Trolls of Robloxia. This video makes no sense without the original audio. It was actually just this um, copyrighted music on top of it. Oh, maybe it was maybe it was uh, user votes because this one says staff pick and the other ones didn't. Anyways, so that's RGC for you. Next, this one's good. Bloxcon 2013. So this year they stepped up their game. They had three different IRL conventions along with a virtual one that was streamed online. And this was the year that they started doing the Bloxy Awards in the first place. So let's look at Bloxcon Chicago because a lot of great things came out of that other than the Bloxies. That's, that's also one thing that I want to look at is uh, great things that weren't the Bloxies as well as the Bloxies. Hello Chicago. Hey, what's up, man? Hi, Chicago. I'm Remainings. We are so excited to be here. Um, it's actually our first event ever Excuse outside me. of California. So uh, thank you all for coming. I'm Brad. So yeah, their, their other two conventions were, uh, oh, I don't know if they were in San Mateo or what. But yeah, they were in California. That's where their HQ is after all. So this year, like I said, they're stepping up their game. Yeah! He's back, again. Always the first presenter, because he's the VIP here. What's going on? I can't see anything. Is he giving out more high fives? I think so. Holy crap, I think that's him. What a great guy. He's always giving out high fives to everyone. How many people can say they high five Builder Man? Not many. We are so pleased to be here with you today at BoxCon 2013. This is a giant meeting of a thousand people who thousand. share our vision. So Roblox Rally, there is like 500 people, just for comparison. I don't know about RGC. Anything. And I can really, can really see what's, what's uh, on the projector there. Because Roblox really was founded on our vision of creating kind of the ultimate place for people who want to create and build and share and play. 
So all of your feedback is super important. We have a great show for you today. We're going to show you some new stuff. Uh, you're going to get a chance to ask questions. Um, we're going to give you a sneak peek. We got interviews. Oh yeah, they. Oh, they did interviews. I didn't. Th I didn't know about that. Right now, in any given month, over 3.3 million people. So that's how much they're growing. Last year was 2.8 million. So it just keeps going up. Holy crap! Do you guys know how many people that is? That's insane. Five people. I can't even count that on one hand. Or two. I can't even count. So it's just more stats and stuff. Uh, there is a point in the video, I think this was the Bloxies, actually. The first ever Bloxy Awards were given out. So the, uh, the next part of our program is actually something new this year. Um, we, we recognize that there are some people who oh yeah, it is. It is. Back then they called it, it had a lot of names, it was also the Roblox International Film Fest, but we'll just refer to it as the Bloxy Awards. Yeah. Uh, yes. You guys, you guys better remember Andrew. So they originally started the Bloxy Awards for uh, video creators, and uh, I actually entered for uh, the uh, first Bloxy Awards, and we're gonna we're gonna get to that later. We're gonna react to that. But there's like three other Bloxy Awards shows of uh, 2013, other than this one that I want to look at. I won't watch some movies. I'm talking like the B-Movie, the B-Movie 2, B-Movie and Sharknado crossover movie, <laughs> the Minecraft movie. Before we get started, let's kind of give you a little background on what you know, caused us to do this film festival and, uh, and the submissions we got. As you all know, we got a ton of like really good builders and game developers in the Roblox community, but there are also a lot of people who specialize in things uh, other than make, building and making games. And we've got people who are clothing designers, people who are advertising creators, graphics artists. There's a lot of specialization within the Roblox community and a lot of talent. So we wanted to bring that out of the community's filmmakers. So we ran a contest last spring, asking people to submit films falling into one of five categories. And we ended up getting about 500 qualified submissions, which is awesome. Uh, there's a ton of good stuff coming in. And today, we are going to announce five Blotsky Award winners. Um, so we're going to pick five of those 500 and give them virtual awards. Uh, and these are the first five Blotskys ever. So we're watching the first ever Bloxy Awards then, huh? So the first category is the Building Showcase. This was where we asked entrants to capture footage of, the, of themselves building something, anything in Roblox, and then speed up the, speed up the footage so that uh, it, it uh, covers only 60 seconds. We got a lot of cool entries here, and they really show the power of Roblox. And now we're going to announce the first winner of a Bloxy Award for the Building Showcase category. So I think in 2013, multiple people could win for the same category. Because I remember in another video, I think it was the uh, BloxCon London, that they they also gave a Bloxy to the uh, someone who entered in the building showcase. Anyways, also with this camera quality, uh, I know this is an old video, so I'm going to cut them some slack, but <laughs> still, you can barely see anything on here. I imagine we're not going to see much of the video. All right, cool. Uh, an orange blob. I'm not sure if it's like a bubbling pool of lava or what. Oh no, it's not. Okay, I still don't know what they're building though. Uh, would oh, oh, they're building a hand. Oh, I see. Well, that's pretty cool. Just makes it even more impressive that it was a uh, not like a uh, a mesh like a blender thing. They actually built it by hand. Yeah! Let's give a big hand to them. So yeah, there weren't any like finalists that people could vote on. It was submit a video and the staff will pick which video they like the most. 
how it worked back then. Anyways, let's move on from a, the uh, BloxCon 2013 Chicago Bloxy Awards. Before we move on from BloxCon Chicago entirely, I just want to react to some great moments that happened during that time. Like it was uh, focusing on the Q&A panels that they held during the event. Uh, and it was uh, pretty interesting to see what some people had to say. I want to begin this by showing you guys one of the biggest funnies of the Q&A session. Let's go to the left side. Do what? <laughs> do you even lift? But do I lift weights? No. So, <laughs> uh, I swim. So I just, I just, I just, I just wow. Yes. Okay, so, uh, the guy who asked that question was friends with the person who uploaded this video. His username is Thunder1222. Give him props, okay? I dared him, and he did it. Well, good on you for daring him. It was made for a great moment. Also, what a guy David is. He swims a lot, and he holds the world record for most high fives given. Excellent. Anyways, let's move on to BloxCon London, because at this convention, they gave out some Bloxy Awards like they did at Chicago. Let's go. Yes. Right. I want to watch um, the Fortnite movie, the Fortnite movie 2, the Fortnite movie 5, the Fortnite movie 4, the third one edition. As you guys know, there are a lot of really great uh, builders and game developers in the Roblox community. Uh, but there's also a lot of sub-communities here. Um, we got people who make really good advertisements, people who make... Uh, so it's basically the same same spiel about what the Bloxies is as the uh, what he said at Chicago. You guys already heard it, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to the first Bloxy winner here. Because as it turns out, the first person who won a Bloxy at this convention was actually the uploader of this vlog. Roblox owns productions here, and I think it was a yeah it was a building showcase. So I don't want to react to the whole thing while it's playing because it's got copyrighted stuff, but he's basically, he created a Helm's Deep from Lord of the Rings, and he's just talking about how he did it and stuff, what references he used and what plugins. Let's give a round of applause for Tony Tony. Yes, sir. <laughs> Busy bowing to, busy bowing to nobody, which is why I didn't zoom out the camera. It turns out that he is in the today, actually. You turn around, he's way back next to the camera, of course. Uh, let's see if there's, uh, anything in here that I want to show you guys. Oh, oh, this, you guys are gonna love this one. I bet you guys know this name for all the right reasons. So yeah, that's, uh, BloxCon London Bloxy Awards. There's some more to it, but as always, links are in the description down below. Now I want to look at the BloxCon New York City Bloxy Awards. This one, I almost thought nobody had a video up of this on YouTube, but after looking at page two of YouTube search results, I found it! This video has 200 views, so I can kind of see why it got buried in the YouTube search. By the way, this video is, uh, sideways for me um but it should be uh fine for you guys it's just he started off the video in the vertical and then flipped it over later but it, it doesn't flip over the you know what i mean right so i'm gonna have to break my neck for this so building showcase again uh don't want to get into that oh machinima you guys remember roblox machinimas basically just a skit Dude, I remember this video. It's about some uh, online daters invading the place. Or no, it was a uh, guest taking over. That's gonna be me driving in a few months. Uh, no, they just end the video. Wow, okay. Oh, the description addresses this concern. It says the last one got cut off though. So yeah, that's the first part of the Bloxies. Um, they also gave out even more Bloxies at Virtual BloxCon 2013, which I want to take a look at as well before we move on. I believe it is time to move on now to the uh, Roblox Film Festival. I will let Becky talk a little bit about that. All right, so the Roblox Film Festival, the Bloxie Awards, 
We've given out many Bloxy Awards already, and we have four left to give out. So let's start off with the first film. So as you can see, they uh, they actually stream themselves live giving out the awards instead of today's format where they, you know, just live stream a pre-recorded awards ceremony. Uh, think of that what you will. I'm just pointing it out. I think both formats are pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, oh, it's uh, Queen music. I'm gonna have to mute this. Replace it with some 8-bit version or something, or like a kazoo cover. You know what, I'm gonna do that with all the copyrighted music that comes up. I'm just gonna replace it with like a 8-bit or a kazoo cover of it. So, uh, anyways. Ah, uh, yes. These kinds of Roblox videos. You don't see a whole lot of them these days. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, actually. This, uh, very high budget. So, congratulations to Ace Hot 6 yeah. for a, uh, I, frankly, hilarious video. It's one of the shorter uh, submissions that we've received, but that doesn't make it any less hilarious. It was funny. Uh, um, hold up. Is his script on the floor? Wait, what, what the heck? Why is it there? You know what, it's 2013. Let's not question anything. The fact about this filmmaker is that he actually has a YouTube channel. He has over 400 subscribers and 50,000 total views. So wow, <laughs> Four, 400 everyone. But to be fair, Roblox and especially Roblox filmmaking was way smaller back then compared to today. So having 400 subscribers was actually a big deal. Back then on my old channel, I was struggling to break 50 subscribers. So this next one is uh, an animation. And while this animation is still pretty cool and all, back then it was, uh, it was like super amazing and advanced stuff, in, in my opinion at least. And I have no clue what's happening. We will do what we must. Oh, cool. Copyrighted music! Don't you just love it when that happens? Whoa, look at those cape physics. And uh, the 2 FPS animation. So it's like a legit movie trailer. The Chaos Redemption. The Chaos Redemption, everybody. I wonder if this ever came out. I remember there was a there was a bunch of Loxy nominees for like movie trailers and stuff. And I don't remember any of them ever becoming a reality. It's it's sad, man. Um, okay, so uh, Alan is gone. He has been replaced with John Shedletsky or something. I don't what's happening? Okay, so um he what just happened? Was that like just just aggravated assault via axe on stream? I don't know, man. This video is uh is too too graphic. I'm gonna have to cut this off right now. So that's BloxCon 2013, everybody. Absolutely epic. Before we move on from the 2013 Bloxies, I just want to show you my oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, we're good. Anyways, I just want to show you my own entry for the uh, 2013 Bloxies that it was, uh, I submitted it myself and made the whole thing along with some of my buddies that acted in it. It's going to be the best thing that you'll ever see from me. Better than any video that I've created in the past two years. All right. Some of you might have already seen this video. I remember linking it in a, in a community post like a month ago, maybe. But before that, it was obscure. It had like 400 views. We're all due to on Roblox. I'm going to find this real quick. There's a lot to unfold here. Trust me. Hey, dude. Hey, Wilder. So thank you for clarifying you that this is wild. Tell me scary story, dude. Dude, I'm sure. Once upon a time, there was a hacker named 1x1x1x1. <gasps> this is so scary! Oh my god, how dare he IP ban people? Was back at zero players playing the game. The end. That was very scary. I know, right? By the way, I'm 1x1x1x1. The plot twist. Holy crap, caps lock alert. It also said E in the corner. Oh, caps lock again. Dude, that is true. Ha, yeah. Yeah, I imagine it's true. His name is literally 1x1x1x1. And you're on fire. On fire help. Might be from the campfire, but you know. Beep. I'm spinning. On Roblox. 
Oh, he gone. I like how I got lazy here and just didn't make every letter black and white. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the video. Yeah. At the end, it says, uh, sorry if this was boring, made by BrowDude2 and Venk987. Well, you're gonna have to give me more than an apology for making the video so bad. All right, so keep this in mind, guys. There were 500 entries for that year's Bloxy Awards, and they watched every single one of them. Or at least that's what we were told. So in theory, someone at Roblox watched this old video of mine back in the day and probably thought to themselves, wow, this sucks. I like how I dislike the video. <laughs> All right, guys, now let's look at BloxCon 2014 or Virtual BloxCon 2014. I don't actually think they held an IRL convention that year year just just a live stream for everyone so for blocks con 2014 the blocksies actually had more structure to them you know i think they gave out every blocksy during the stream instead of spreading it out over multiple conventions and a live stream they just did it in one day during three different segments of the live stream and again they they gave out these awards live instead of pre-recording it this was the second and final year they did it like that also, I just want to point out that all the clips of the 2014 Bloxy Awards have under 10,000 views. So these are the most obscure Bloxy Awards. I couldn't even find them at first. I even looked on page two of YouTube search results. It wasn't there. And then I remembered it was called Virtual BloxCon and not the second annual Bloxy Awards. Anyways, so here it's 7,000 views. Sup everyone, I'm Jack the Blox with here with Noble Dragon and Reese McBlocks, and we're here to kick off the 2014 Bloxy Awards. Bloxy Awards are an annual showcase of the best video content that Robloxians have to offer. This is the second time we've done this, and today we're gonna reveal all the winners to you. Totally How many keep videos watching. did we get in this thing, Bob? So we got more than 400 videos. It's a lot of videos. We watched all of them. I think I watched watch all, all of them. <laughs> At least once. So they watched all of them, huh? Just to confirm that one Roblox staff member did in fact see my terrible video. It's uh, by someone named Zacy, Zacky, probably Zacy21. And they did an awesome attack on Roblox. Or anyone who's an anime fan, this is gonna look really familiar. It's pretty sick, so let's check it out. Oh great, great, copyrighted music. Luckily I got a kazoo cover up my sleeve, so we're just gonna play it. So this first video is like an animated Roblox Attack on Titan parody trailer thing. Incredible. No, but actually stuff like this was really cool back then. I, I know I already said this, but... And then you see what people are doing now and it's just like... Really realize how far this website has come. Is that guy in space? Oh. Okay guys, we got live footage of all the gamers rising up. So yeah, there's a little trailer for you. So, coming from our long form machinima category, we've got the true story of murder by Crypt Eyes. Uh, so we got yeah, another so skit it here. Pretty good. Uh, the, it's been a long time coming for this uh, for this one. But yeah, let's uh, if you like wacky comedy, you're in for a treat. Let's get I like it. wacky comedy. Let's get into this wacky comedy. Probably with more copyrighted audio that I'm gonna have to mute. Yay! Love it when that happens. You know what, I'm probably gonna get claimed over these crickets. Oh, I love how the banner at the bottom is uh, cutting off the text here. So you on Windows XP? Oh no, that's just what Roblox Studio looked like back then. So this is about the uh, murder game craze, if you guys remember that. And everyone was making murder games left and right, even though there's only like three big ones. We took those times for granted, man. Oh. Okay. When you're so excited that you somehow fall down the stairs uninjured and fire an RPG at your neighbor's house. I do that every day in real life and I'm in police custody right now. I don't really know why. It's not my fault I get excited. <laughs> Third time this week. It's like a problem in the neighborhood that he just keeps firing rockets at this poor guy's window and only destroys the window. Okay, wait, what's what's happening here? It was Nicholas! Wait, so he didn't know that was Nicholas? I, like, I figured you'd know him by now since he blew up your house, or just your window, of your house, three times in the past week. I'm just imagining Clone Trooper's thought process the first two times it happened. He's like, coming home from work or whatever, and just sees a giant hole in the front of his house. He's just like, ah, oh, whatever, probably just the wind. Wait, where, where did the overlay at the bottom go? 
Well, I guess I shouldn't be complaining. Now I can actually read the text. Whatever. I just noticed that now, though. Oh crap, he's having a heated gaming moment. Alright. Oh! This dude just gets murdered for stepping on the property. Poor clone trooper. He's had a rough week. First, his house got blown up on three separate occasions for no reason other than excitement. And now when he tries to confront his neighbor about it, the neighbor just kills him with a with this, like a katana or something. Oh, he's done. Oh, well, I guess he's innocent then. Oh, oh, he, he keeps killing him. So he's having an even worse week than what I thought. This isn't the first time that Nicholas murdered someone in this story, huh? Oh, well then. Now he rigged Clone Trooper's house with a bunch of IEDs or something. I'm telling you, man, he's had a very bad week. So at this point in the video, they just decide to have a violent clash with uh, swords. Just watch this clip. Here we go. Just kidding, both of them decide that they'd rather engage in a fist fight despite them having far more dangerous weapons on them. But I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing. And then Lolaris walks outside, turns out he's in the neighborhood as well. And he's like, all right, you two have your fun. He goes back inside and just makes the mad murderer by uh, flopping on his chair. Meanwhile, Nicholas and Clone Trooper stop fighting and uh, opt to set their differences aside and squash the beef. No hard feelings, but only after I blew up your house four times. So they both go back inside and they realize that Lolaris has the number one spot on the front page. And uh, they, they get real mad. They get real mad here. So... They both agreed to blow up his house, of course. I mean, what else would you do? It's what you gotta do when this sort of thing happens. And so, almost everyone lived happily ever after. And the moral of the story is, either you die after your house gets blown up four times, or you live long enough to see yourself blowing up other people's houses. Anyways, that skit was uh, pretty epic. It really portrays the whole murder game craze in a comedic fashion. Overall, this video gets a score from me and uh, whatever the score is that's that's up to you and your imagination because that's how ratings work right moving on final thoughts on this video well i'd i'd love to see this recreated with the ongoing prison escape genre you know like the prison life creator jailbreak creators and the mad city creators so yeah guys that covers our roblox history lesson for today i hope you guys enjoyed that i've been recording this for exactly an hour 40 so uh might be very long now let's fast forward to today so so, the um, Bloxy's Red Carpet happens tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern, and after that, the main event that everyone's been waiting for, the 6th Annual Bloxy Awards, that happens at 1 p.m. Eastern, and I will be tuning into both and recording my reactions as well. And I'm probably going to be in a voice call with my friends. But before we do that, I have some footage of me playing the Bloxies event with my friend Cole. You might know him as Chronoxus. So I'm going to cut to that and uh, we'll move on to uh, the reactions, the main focus of this video. And uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> 